Hey Overcomers, I hope you're all having an amazing day. So I just wanna jump into this word. Um, this message is called Circumstances Don't Matter, okay? And I wanna start off with a quote from Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard once said, to change your world, you must change your conception of it, okay? And basically what that means is, what lens are you using to look at the world? Yes, we have eyes, you know, in the natural and we're um, using our eyes to see for sight. But when you're looking at the world and you're looking at circumstances in your life, how are you viewing it? Are you basically viewing it from the standpoint of a victor or the standpoint of a victim? Because here's the thing, God has created you so that you can live an abundant life. And we know according to John 10 and 10, the word says the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I have come that you might have life more abundantly. Too often though, we're speaking from the standpoint of a victor. We rehash circumstances. We focus on circumstances. We talk about lack. We talk about what can't happen. We talk about the impossibilities. Whereas in the word it says, with God, all things are possible, okay? Because you believe all things are possible. But the question is, what are you believing in? What are you focusing on? Because whatever you focus on the most, that's gonna be expressed in your world. Whatever you continually speak about, whatever you continue um, to just continue to place your focus on, whatever you focus on dominantly, that's what's expressed in your world. That's what's going to manifest. That's why the word says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. The word also says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and light will shine on your ways. So what are you decreeing? Because you have the power. Here's the thing, because you're created in the image of God, you have the power to create your life. You have the power to change your life. Too often, we sit, and I don't know why, God gave me this image earlier today as I was like getting ready. And I'm like, God is so awesome because I am um, big with visualizing and affirming, as you know. And obviously my book, my latest book, Faith and Imagination, I'm big with faith um, and using the gift of imagination to create your life. Why? Because it works. I was having lunch the other day with a friend and she's like, one thing about you is, you're really consistent with this faith and imagination thing. I'm like, yeah, cause it works, it works. I wish people would understand that you could literally change your life. You literally can have the things that you desire, the things that you dream of, if you would just change your focus and start to speak and think from a victor standpoint, rather than a victim. The word says we are more than conquerors. You've come here to conquer life. You didn't come here to live a less than life. You weren't given life so that you can go through circumstances and challenges and live less than your divine purpose and then just up and die. No, you were put here so that you can live out your life's purpose, so that you can see your heart's desires manifested. But too often we focus on the wrong things. And this is why I'm here to tell you, circumstances don't matter. Yes, will things come up? Yes, circumstances come up, right? The Bible says the weapons um, will form, but they shall not prosper, okay? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So we have to start to get into the driver's seat of our lives. Some of us, and earlier today, <laughs> I believe God gave me this image, some of us are sitting too much in the passenger seat. Some of us are way back there in the back seat. Get into the driver's seat of your life. Steer your life in the direction you want it to go. And you might say, Dara, how do I do that? How do I steer my life in the direction I want to go? You do that with your words and your thoughts. And I know it sounds so simple, Okay, and I think sometimes in life we overcomplicate things. Okay, even the Word of God, we overcomplicate it. Okay, that book, the Word of God, is a book of purpose, power, is precise. If you will use it, if you will apply it, faith without works is dead, right? You have to work your faith, right? So here's the thing. You have to just change your words. And at first it may seem like, okay, you're speaking these things and you don't see things show up. 
and it may seem like, ooh, this is kind of off, right? Because <laughs> you're looking in the natural and it could be a hot mess of what you're going through right now. Because I don't know exactly what you're facing, but God knows what you're facing. But I'm here to encourage you and empower you and inspire you to move into everything that God has for you. But if you would just change your words, okay? I told you the testimony a couple of years ago, I had to go to the hospital. The doctors were, were basically speaking death. And in that, like for a slight moment, a couple minutes, I started to think, I was like, oh goodness, you know, what happens if, if this is it? If I cross over and you know, like all this stuff, like, and then something in me was like, no, I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. And I just started to speak in my mind, every scripture that I can think of. By his stripes I'm healed, okay? And I just started to decree and declare that, you know, about my life's purpose and different things. The power is in your mouth. The miracle is in your mouth. Too often we look to the outside world, we're looking to people, we're looking to family, looking to friends, coworkers, whoever it might be to validate and confirm what God has already spoken to you. But the thing is, we have to persist. You gotta persist with your words. You have to persist in your mind. So if it's healing that you're looking for, start declaring now, I am healed. Don't wait till when the doctor says, okay, you're totally healed. No, you start decreeing it now because signs follow, they do not proceed. Miracle signs and wonders follow those who believe. So here's the thing, you start decreeing, I'm healed. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm Whatever it is, if it's financial, you're like in lack, okay? Your situation, the finances are messed up. If that's your case, start speaking wealth. And you, you will not know. Like, see, here's the thing with faith, which is so awesome. We don't know how God's gonna do it. We don't know when, and we don't control how these things unveil in our lives, how they manifest. But if you would just persist, amidst the circumstances, persist amidst the obstacles, persist amidst the situations, persist amongst people that may try to discourage you. If you wanna start a business, you're trying to write a book, you're trying to like up level your life and you have people around you that are trying to pull you back. You still need to persist because this is your life. This is your journey. This is why I said, get into the driver's seat of your life, steer your life in the direction you want to go. And you do that with your words and your thoughts. And as you are consistent in that, as you are consistent in speaking life over your life and speaking life over the situations in your life, you will see them change. I'm telling you, you will see them change. And I truly believe this is why they do, you know who they are, they do an amazing job at keeping us distracted, at keeping us focused on the wrong things so that we don't focus on our own lives. They will have you enamored with celebrities and things of this world and who's doing what, and who's doing that. What are you doing to improve your life? What are you doing to up-level your life, to bring your life up, to see your desires and your dreams manifested? Because I truly believe if you have that desire, a dream, a vision, a goal, it's for you. You're supposed to have that thing. As Neville Goddard says, our desires, they come from our higher self, our God self. Remember, we're made in his image. He's the one that gives the downloads. He's the one that gives the ideas, the dream, the vision, whatever it is. But it's up to us. That's where free will comes in. It is up to us to decide that we're going to persist in that thing. And we do that with our words and our thoughts and keeping your focus because whatever you focus on the most, that's what's gonna create in your life. That's what you're going to experience in your life. And some things, they'll come through really quickly. Other times, it may take some time for it to manifest, for it to show up. But I'm telling you, as you persist, you will see those circumstances change. You will see those things that you're believing for come into your life. But the key is to stay persistent. Don't give up. Don't let up until it shows up. So if it's healing, you don't let up until you have your healing. If it's finances, you don't let up until you see, yep, I'm in abundance. And even then, 
at that point, you're going to assume that things always work in your favor. Because what happens is, it's amazing how the mind works, the subconscious mind. It loves repetition and it takes our experiences, our feelings, our beliefs, and it somehow, some way, it has to like bring proof of that thing. So for people that always decree on the other hand that they are broke, they're sick, this is always happening to them, that's always happening to them. You will look at their life and I'm telling you, you will see that they stay in a continual, continual state of stuff happening to them that's negative. On the other hand, people that speak and believe that there's favor on their life, that they thrive no matter what is happening on the land, that they are in a thriving season continuously. You will see that favor. It seems like they have, they're lucky. No, everything begins and starts in the mind. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. The word says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So what are you speaking today? What are you thinking today? Because circumstances, while they are there, they truly don't matter. It's all about your perspective. It's all about the words that you're thinking, um, the things that you're saying, like all of that matters because you are created to create. You're made in his image. Like there's nothing you can't do. You're here to live an amazing, awesome, abundant life. He said, we are more than conquerors. So today, I hope this message blessed you today. I hope it encouraged you. I hope it inspired you. If you like this message, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always be an overcomer.